Module 5, Lesson 7, Homework. Ren makes some rectangular display boxes. Number 1, Ren's first display box is 6 inches long, 9 inches wide, and 4 inches high. What is the volume of the first of the display box? Explain your work using a diagram. So we're going to draw this out. And I've found that the easiest way to draw a box is to first or a rectangular prism, any cube, rectangular prism, box, is to first look for the length and the height. So it's six inches long and four inches high. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle that is six by four, so six inches long. So it's a little longer than it is high. So draw the rectangle. Now it has, it's nine inches wide. So going out, I'm gonna make it nine inches wide going to go into the words, but that's okay. And then I connect them. Now I just need to kind of clean it up a little bit. So there's my rectangular prism. So it's six inches by four inches by nine inches. Um, doesn't need to be perfect. And then let's find the volume. So we have four times six equals 24. And we need to do 24 times nine because it'd be four times six by nine. Four times nine is 36, carry the three. Nine times two is 18 plus three is 21. So we get 216 inches cubed. Number two, Ren wants to put some artwork into three shadow boxes. She knows they'll all need a volume of 60 cubic inches, but she wants them all to be different. Show three different ways Ren can make those boxes by drawing diagrams and labeling the measurements. So we need to get three different rectangular prisms that will all at, um, be 60 cubic inches. So basically we need to find three different things so something times something times something that equals 60. So I'm going to start with, um, let's see, 2 times 3, that's 6. 6 times 10 is 60, so there's 1. Um, I can start with 6 times, I'm going to break 10 up into 2 times 5, so that would also equal 60. And we just need one more. Um, we could use... 12, we could use 10, some other factors of 20. I'm going to use, let's see, let's do 12 by, so 12 times 5 is 60, so we could do 12 times 5 times, we still need a width, so 1. So now we just need to draw those three. So my first one is going to be 2 by 3 by 10, so... 2 by 3, so 2 by 3, and then I just need to make it really wide because it's 10 inches wide. So there's one, and six by two, so do six by two. And then five inches wide. And the last one, 12 by five by one. So it's gonna be pretty long. So 12 by five. And then just one inch wide. So there are three different 
boxes that Ren could have made. There are others too, so you could have different ones than me. As long as your length by width by height multiplies to be 60, you are correct. Number three, Ren wants to build a box to organize her scrapbook supplies. She has a stencil set that's 12 inches wide that needs to lay flat on the bottom of the box. The supply box must also be no taller than two inches. Name one way she could build a supply box with a volume of 72 cubic inches. So we know the box should be no taller than two and part of the base of the box needs to be 12 inches wide. So it needs to be at least 12 inches wide. Um, so again, there are many correct answers for this. I'm going to do 72 divided by 12, just to see what I'm working with once this is 12 inches wide. So 12 times five is 60, so I believe this could go in six times. 12 times six is 72. So we would have 12 by, it should be no taller than two. So we can use two by then to get six, to get this six, we'd be using two times three. So that could be one of her dimensions. Um, so now I'm going to draw that as having the width be 12, the height is two and the length is three. So we have the length of three, height of two, and the width is 12. So pretty wide here. So here, the pencil box could fit here because that's 12 inches. The height isn't taller than two, so maybe you made your height one inch. That's also possible. Maybe it was six inches long. But there are multiple ways to do this. This is how I chose. Number four. After all of this organizing, Ren decides she also needs more storage for her soccer equipment. Her current storage box measures one foot long by two feet wide by two feet high. She realizes she needs to replace it with a box with 12 cubic feet of storage, so she doubles the width. Will this achieve her goal if she does, th does this? So she wants it to have 12 cubic feet. It currently is one by two by two, which is four cubic feet. So if she doubles the width, it will be one times four times two. That would only be eight cubic inches, cubic feet. So no, it will only increase it increase the cubic feet to eight. B, if she wants to keep the height the same, what could the other dimensions be for a 12 cubic foot storage box? So she wants to keep the height the same, which is two feet high. So what times what times two would be 12. So there are many options. So we know two times six is 12. So you could do six by one by two, that's equal to 12. If you wanna break it up, you can do two by three by two, that's equal to 12. You can mix it around and do three by two by two. Remember this height is always staying the same. Or another option would be one by six by two. Um, I think those are pretty much your options. C, if she uses the dimensions in part B, what is the area of the new storage box's floor? We have six by one by two. So the 
length is 6, the width is length times width is 1, and the height is 2. So if I'm going to draw, we have the length of 6, the height of 2, and then our width is just 1. So if we're looking at that, the, the area of the box is floor. So that would be, if we're imagining it, the area of this bottom part right there. So we're imagining the bottom of the floor would be 6 by 1. Would be the, the area of that would be 6 inches squared, because area is squared. How has the area of the bottom in her new storage box changed? Explain how you know. So what was her original one? The original one was length is 1, width is 2, and the height was 2. So how has the area of the bottom of her new storage box changed? Well, before it was 1 by 2. It was just 2 feet squared. Now it's six, 6 feet. That reminds me all of these were actually feet. So let's go back and change this to feet squared. And these were all feet. Sorry guys. So anyway, so now it's changed to be So we can say that the area has tripled in size.